Hello guys, now uh, this video I'm not sure if it's going to be separate from the guide scope one I've just completed but what I intend to do is show you how I attached this uh, saddle and the rings onto the tube of my um, uh, Skywatcher 80mm Apo. Uh, I've had to make a homemade device <laughs> And I'll tell you what, I've already made it and dissembled it for this video and I'll tell you what, it works absolutely great. So it might be of use to do, it, it might be of use to you if, if you have no means of uh, connecting this guide scope to your main scope. Okay, hope you enjoy the video. Right, now then, um, there are two Allen screws here so that you can remove each ring individually but uh, I've found I haven't had to do that although I might need to adjust them because the the rings one of them's a little bit squiffy on the saddle anyway that's by the by for now it doesn't really matter because you've got these thumb screws to adjust everything so what what I intend to do we've got three holes in the base here um, two different sizes the central one I believe is metric the other two I believe are the old Imperial or some sort of American thread I'm not sure that's something you'll have to work out to sell now I've being a cheap jack <laughs> uh, I've found an assortment of screws and bits and pieces which suit my needs so I've pre-drilled this piece of plastic um, when I say piece of plastic, it's absolutely rigid. You won't bend that. It's absolutely solid. It's probably about the same weight as a piece of aluminium would be. And I've had to glue two layers together. It, it's a bit crude. Um, I've tried it and it works. So, I mean, that is solid. That is solid. Now, these end two holes here will fit onto the rings of the telescope. Now, the larger hole here can line up with the larger holes on the saddle, so it's, you can adjust it a little bit. Now, what I've done here, as you can see, I've got two odd screws here. I mean, it's <laughs> things like this don't worry me. It's, it's not going to be seen, only by me, and um, it works. I suppose at a later date I could smart it up or even even get something more professional here but then I'm not professional I'm cracking on in years and I'm not going to worry too much about looks as long as it works there that is on there that is solid now a quick break there and I'll get the scope out Right, this is my Skywatcher uh, 80mm Apo. It's mounted on a uh, video head uh, for the moment because my um, the mount I've ordered hasn't arrived yet. So I'm making do with this. It's, it's fine for, to I just about get some of the planets uh, with a lot of messing around on the moon. Obviously, I can get easily. So for the time being. Until I get my head around EAA, this is fine for me. Now, as you can probably see, the difference in length between the the, the, the saddle and the mount are, are totally different. And plus the fact that if it comes here, everything is going to be back heavy. So, my solution is to pop it on top of the telescope rings. Now this, uh, this uh, shredded bolt here, uh, came with the telescope which I bought second hand. And there wasn't one on the other end, whether they're supposed to be or not I don't know. But I found a screw that fits. Uh, not to put it too tight at the moment. The, all, all this, the scope and the, the guide scope rings and everything is absolutely solid. So I'm well, well pleased with that. Maybe you might find that useful, folks. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. Well, this is how I've mounted the Datasun 50mm guide scope 
on my Skywatcher 80mm Apo. As you can see, it all looks fine and it looks well balanced at the moment. And this is the setup with the SV Boney or Datison again T7 uh, astronomical camera. Now, this is a guiding camera and it's very similar and has the same uh, settings, the same uh, DVD, everything as the AZWO um, 120. And it looks good. I haven't tried it yet, I must admit, but it looks good. I've tried the camera, that's absolutely fine. I haven't tried the guide scope yet. So maybe that's in the future. Okay? Well, thank you a lot for watching this video. Um, if it's of any interest to you, perhaps you'd like to visit my YouTube channel and maybe leave a comment, a like, or a um, subscription. Anyway, there are many, many more um, videos on my channel, so perhaps I may have used you. Thanks for watching. Bye.